how do we actually change? We all have this idea in our head of where we can be. We have this idea of the goals that we can accomplish. If we did everything right, we know what we need to do. We know that we could eat better. We know that we could exercise more. We know that we can make more money. We have all these goals in our head. We even try to make progress towards them at first. And then we find ourselves right back in the cycles that got us stuck. Right back in the habitual patterns that keep us where we are instead of making progress towards our goals. What's the key? A few years ago, I struggled big time with anxiety, with depression. I was fearful for the future, fearing the unknown. I was ruminating on the past. And I had ideas of where I wanted to get to. I thought that maybe changing the external, changing my appearance, getting in shape, eating healthier, gaining more knowledge. Some people may think that the next book, the next course, or the next gadget will help them accomplish their goals and get them to where they want to be. But in reality, we can't change the external to change the external. We have to change the internal your brain to change the external. Your brain is the underlying factor that basically creates everything in your reality. Your beliefs create your habits, your habits create your actions, your actions create your results. So the underlying factor there is our beliefs. How do we change our beliefs? We have to rewire our entire brain change our programs to become the fullest version of ourselves. Today's society, we are extremely overstimulated. If you think about it, we never really think for ourselves. We are always consuming other people's thoughts, other people's content, the news. We never really think for ourselves. And the first step to changing the internal is to quiet your mind. For me, meditation allowed me to see my anxieties, see my fears, see my self-limiting beliefs as just simply thoughts. If I can create those negative thoughts, then why can't I create positive thoughts? And so over years, I have been rewiring my brain and I think I'm just starting to see the impact that that can have, but it takes years. It takes years to rewire the ways that you've been thinking for your entire life. Observe yourself. Catch yourself when you're thinking something negative about yourself, when you think you can't do something. Think about that belief. Does it really have any substance in reality? Is it true? Most likely, it's not, and we can discard them. Literally, our brain can trap us or it can free us. Another powerful tool for rewiring your brain is journaling. And as cliche as it may sound, every day I woke up, I remember, and I'd be writing down all the empowering beliefs I wanted to instill. Like maybe I wanted to feel more grateful about life or what I had. Maybe I wanted to encourage myself to take more risks. I wanted to put myself out there. I remember at one point, I made it a goal to talk to two new people, two random people, two strangers every day. And I don't have social anxiety anymore. I started to write down, I remember that there were many opportunities around me and it rewired my brain to start seeing opportunities around me. And it rewired my brain to learn from everyone and learn from every situation. I told myself that I had an abundance of opportunities, abundance of great people around me. And then that's how I started to see my reality. You telling yourself that, you giving your brain these powerful messages every single day, you'll literally find yourself starting to believe it.
So the moral of the story is to change the inside to change the outside. Work on your thoughts, your beliefs, and they will translate to your actions. Peace.